I'm glad to have this opportunity to spend a few moments with you to discuss some important issues affecting our city. Over the next few weeks, you'll be hearing more about the budget I propose for the fiscal year that begins on July 1st. This budget holds the line on expenditures, reduces the size of city government, and helps us manage projected multi-million dollar deficits through the year 2020. I'm working with City Council to find common ground on the budget. One of the largest expenditure cuts I propose is in the fire department, which will be able to operate safely and efficiently with fewer firefighters. I'm asking for council support to eliminate 16 vacant firefighter positions. Our new police chief, Robert Tracy, is also assessing the operations of the police department, and he feels we can fight crime effectively and protect citizens with 314 officers instead of the current 319. The chief's assessment of his staffing needs matches a state crime commission report from 2015, which concluded that our city has sufficient staffing and resources to prevent crime and control crime. The police chief is going to instill a new direction for policing in our city intended to not only reduce the number of incidents of violence committed by people using guns, but also reduce theft, burglaries, assaults, and other crimes that can diminish the quality of life in Wilmington. So regarding the current budget debate, if we are going to get our city's fiscal house in order and have sufficient funding to deliver credible city services to you, then we need to make some tough decisions about reducing the size of government. I want to thank you for your support for my budget proposal. I also want to touch on a few other issues before I conclude. I'll soon announce our first neighborhood stabilization program during which we will focus city and state resources on improving the living conditions of residents as well as improving the overall quality of life for an entire section of the city. This effort will serve as a model which we can apply to other city neighborhoods where there is a need to stabilize properties and people so our citizens live better and feel better about their future and our city's future. Lastly, I want you to receive excellent service whenever you call a city office or stop by a city facility. We have to do a better job of resolving the issues you present to us. I know we have work to do and I want you to know that improved service to citizens is a priority with me. Until we introduce some new initiatives in the near future, please call the Constituent Services Office at 576-2489 for any matter involving city government. Thank you for listening, and please call my office at 576-2100 if you have questions about the information I shared with you today, or if you have an idea for making Wilmington as strong a city as it can be. We are all in this together, and together we'll make Wilmington a better city. Thank you.